Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, we will be taking LD Player and Tencent Gaming Buddy to see which emulator runs PUBG Mobile the best. As you can see, on my screen at the moment, I have the settings for each emulator. On the left hand side, we have LD Player, and on the right hand side, we have Tencent Gaming Buddy. I have made all the settings the same, or got as close as I can. On the left hand side, on LD Player, we have 1920 by 1080 and we are running DPI at 280. On the right hand side with Tencent Gaming Buddy, we are running at 1920 by 1080 but we have only got the DPI on 240. As you can see, both emulators are running the same amount of cores on the CPU and we are running the same amount of RAM. But I do want to add on that, with LD Player, we can actually select up to 8 gig of memory, which is fantastic, and I will do a video on that another time. If I now go down to game settings on my LD Player, you can see we are running the resolution at 2K, and we have HDR enabled. And down the bottom here, we have 2K selected as well. And that is the same on Tencent Gaming Buddy. We are running at 2K with HD enabled. Tencent Gaming Buddy is using DirectX for its rendering option. As for LD Player, it is only using OpenGL. Right, if I now close down the settings on both emulators and just go onto the game settings, you will see that I do have both settings the same in game. There we go, that is LD Player settings up, and there's Tencent Gaming Buddy. Right, we have HDR selected on both, they're both set to Ultra, and we have Realistic selected on both emulators. It is now time to see which emulator runs PUBG Mobile the best. Please comment below saying which emulator you reckon is going to win before we get the results up. And here we go!
overall, I did find LD Player done extremely well. It was a lot more smooth than Tencent Gaming Buddy, but I did have a problem with my mouse stop responding. I don't know if you noticed in the video, but a few times it did stop responding and I had to click out of the mouse lock and then lock back in again. Which is really bad if you are in the middle of a battle and someone is shooting at you and you're shooting back. That is the last thing you want. Also with LD Player, we were running on OpenGL and as some of you may know, OpenGL does run better on PUBG Mobile than DirectX. So unfortunately, LD Player did extremely well, but I'm going to have to say Tencent Gaming Buddy is the winner again in this video. So if you did comment Tencent Gaming Buddy below, well done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.